Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to do a little woodworking project. Do any of you guys have one of these awesome countertop speakers? This is a Sonos and the problem is you got all these wires all over the place and it's a real pain. If you have that problem, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy project to turn this into this. Thanks for watching. So just to show you guys, all this is, is a simple walnut base for this speaker. If you lift it up, you'll see that it just holds the cords underneath, but it allows you to neatly store your speaker right on top. Just like that, with just one cord coming out the side. Let me take you all out to the shop and I'll show you how I did it. All right, so I just got my table saw out. As you can see, it's just on the ground. That is how I have to use my table saw until I get a bigger shop. Now here is a little piece of walnut. This is an off cut that I got from my dad. And I'm cutting it down here to one and a half inches and I'm gonna make two strips that are one and a half inches for my project today. Here I am just measuring the front of the speaker. I want the uh, footprint of the actual speaker to be replaced by the walnut. So I believe it was 10 and 10 inches and 1 eighth, uh, if I remember correctly. So I just mark it here so that I can take it over to the miter cut saw and cut my pieces. Here I am cutting that first piece. Taking my time so that I don't try to avoid as much tearing of the wood as I can. Here's the second piece. Basically I just cut it in half, as close to half as I could, and then use the miter saw just to trim up the edges to make them exactly the same. Uh, length. So I'm just finding the angle here. It turned out to be 15 degrees roughly the angle that the uh, side of the speaker was. So I set my miter saw to 15 degrees and it actually worked out very very well. Cut my first piece. Ended up cutting the second piece uh, off camera. I was trying to figure out how to get these to glue correctly because it's just an odd angle. So what I did was I put that first clamp there at the bottom and that holds the uh, the pieces in. You'll see here in a second. I put a little glue. This is not a strong joint. All it has to do is just stay together. And then I'm able, because of the side pressure of that original clamp, I'm able to clamp them in here with the others and pull them pretty tight. I was pretty happy with it ended up noticing that I had some uneven glue squeeze out on the back so I went ahead and put two clamps back there as well just to tighten everything up. Put that aside to dry. I got some dowel material and dowel material is not always exactly the size it said as it is so I measured it. This turned out to be one-fourth of an inch so I went ahead and got my one-quarter inch drill bit and um, drill a test hole just to make sure that everything would go together smoothly and I did get a pretty good uh, fit and was happy with it. Here I am just measuring I'm going to put a little piece of blue uh, painters tape on my drill bit to measure exactly how deep I want to go in and was able to stand it up straight and get fairly fairly straight holes here which worked out quite well. Now these dowels and this particular method is not going to be the strongest joint in the world, although it's not terrible, but it's really there just to keep it in shape. Here I am just putting in the dowels. Uh, going a little faster here for you guys. They did pound in quite nicely. I was a little nervous that it was going to come apart, but it held together, so it worked, worked quite well. Try to get a little bit of the glue squeeze out, cleaned up, and then I took my Japanese saw and just cut off the ends of the dowels. Now, I saved you guys from watching any of the sanding, but there's a lot of sanding in between all these steps. For example, after this, I took it back and sanded it. Here I am just putting on some shellac. This is just basic shellac, and uh, this is a based off a technique by uh, David Picciuto off Make Something. Put an initial coat of shellac, straight shellac, did not... Um, water it down at all. And then afterwards I put about uh, one third to one half 
denatured alcohol into it just to thin it down. So here's my last coat. In between each coat I sanded with a 220 grit sandpaper. Last coat just a very small amount with um, instead of a brush just a paper towel. And this is just one of those um, white kind of sanding pads. Just a light light sanding uh, or scraping over before I put on some wax. This is the wax I use. It's the Minwax. Put it on pretty heavy, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then got out a clean uh, cotton cloth and buffed it out as good as I could. And uh, the finish isn't perfect, but it turned out pretty good. I still am working on my finishing, but that's the finished product. All right, guys, so there you go. Quick, easy project today here on the channel. Thought we'd do a little woodworking. It's been a little while since we did any. I made this very simply, as you could see, out of some walnut uh, that I had some scraps of, and then some oak dowels. Really simple, you can use any wood you want. This is not the strongest joint in the world by any means, and that's not the point. The point is just to get alignment. It's strong enough to hold up the speaker, which is all I really needed. We've always really enjoyed having this speaker in here, but my wife hates how the cords are everywhere. So I decided to make this, and it worked out really, really well. You can just hide the cords underneath. As always, I appreciate y'all checking out Paleo Hiker MD. Hope y'all find this useful. Maybe you can make something similar for whether it be a speaker or something else that you put on your counter. You can easily hide the cords in this fashion. As always, guys, I ask y'all to like, comment, subscribe. That really helps the channel. Share this video if you think it's something others would enjoy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD. So just to show you guys, all this 